we are very excited about our next guest. Number one, he's live and in studio. We like that. Tony and Grammy Award winner David Diggs is known for his performance as Lafayette and Jefferson in the hit Broadway musical Hamilton. Now he stars in the dystopian thriller series. It's called Snowpiercer. Have you seen this? It's set in the year 2026 after an apocalyptic event freezes the entire planet, trapping survivors on a moving train. Now, in this clip from the season three premiere, Diggs' character, he plays a detective, Andre Layton, the only homicide detective on board, by the way, is getting ready for an expedition outside the train. You know, one time, just for a change of pace, you could respect the chain of command. Chain of command? <laughs> Layton, this isn't a battleship, it's a bloody life raft. And you're staying on it. Ben shouldn't even be out there. He knew what he was getting into. Yeah, chasing Melanie's ghost. Her theory. We all agreed. We find New Eden, then we go back to the others. What if there is no New Eden? What if she's wrong? Da 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 da. David <laughs> Diggs joins us now in the studio. Good morning. We're so glad to have you in live and in color and in person. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it really is nice to be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about this series because number one, I didn't know so many things could happen on a train. Number I, you one, know, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's such a classic story of the haves and the have-nots. It's about race. It's about betrayal. It's about are they going to get off of the train? How are they going to survive on the train? And you like the role? Why? Uh, Leighton's like, um, he's always changing. He's always adapting to new information, and that's kind of what I like about him. He's not, he should be a, a hero archetype, right? Like, he should have only one mode. But yes. he, he doesn't. He, he's constantly sort of taking in information and, like, apologizing and, like, but, you know, like, he's sort of, like, uh, has all the all the toxic masculinity traits, but he's actively trying to combat them. I think, which is <laughs> well, they're useful in the in the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you familiar with the story already before you did the series? Yeah, well, I'd seen the film. You had that it okay. Was based on, so, mm -hmm. so yeah, which is which is brilliant, and and is did really a lot of the heavy lifting, or at least of the it, it created the world that we get to play in, right? The the TV show takes on a very different, a lot of different turns, and has moved on to to a lot of different places than than Bong Joon Ho's brilliant film meant to go, but. Um, but how about the irony, though, of shooting this during a pandemic, isolated on a train? when many of us in our lives are isolated. Not on a train, but very much isolated. Yeah, it was a trip. You know, we we shut down in the middle of shooting season two and then had to come back and figure out how to shoot while sort of in the height of the pandemic. So that was when we were first getting used to wearing masks and stuff. Yeah. And, and um, it really hit home. It was, it was also, you know, the, the kind of isolation that you must feel being the last of... of only a, f a few thousand people left on Earth is yeah. like it, it. It definitely amplified. Stuck that. on a thousand car long train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one minor other. other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how do you think you would handle yourself in a real? 2026 is not that that far in the future. What I if know. We all end up on a train. How would you do? I love trains, actually. Uh, but if it's like this one, I don't want to be on it. I mean, need. I, and also, although you get like, to survive at least. Yeah. In this sense. It might be worth it. I don't know. Le also, Layton's like from the tail. I need my first class. <laughs> See, I've gotten I've soft hands, you know, I can't uh -huh. be. <laughs> I have to ask you about one of the other things. I was so thrilled. I think people of a certain age, Fraggle Rock, you oh, get man. to be a part of Fraggle Rock. I, you have no idea how I, much I freaked out when I got that <laughs> offer. I was. Why? Why, Dave? I was such a Fraggle Rock fan oh, growing okay. up. Um, and I can't, I can't, I can't give too much away about who I'm playing or anything. But like, it's, it was, it was a, a dream, and the, the Henson Company is just a. I mean. When opportunities like that come your way, you talk about it just being a, a dream. I, what is it like to start living out maybe even a dream that you didn't see? Uh, it's it's pretty cool, you know. I mean, I'm I'm at a, a point in my life where I'm getting to do like a lot of cool things. And it's a lot. Of, I have a lot of pinch myself moments, really, like all all the time. I mean, I'm here, you know. I watch you guys too. Now we're sitting on like we having a, a normal ass conversation. Yeah, yeah. Great. What's it like for you to be sitting here with us? <laughs> Let's talk about how that. It's story. still it's still weird. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, it's so weird to see people. You know, we were having a conversation about you before you came because we've all seen Hamilton. I've seen you in that role five times. And from the moment you come on the stage, it's just instant applause before you even open your mouth yeah. and then you take those steps. Don't Electricity. You think? Yeah, before you even say anything. And we were having a debate about, I wonder if he's sick of talking about it. I wonder if it gets old to him. 
because, you know, we played the song and we all sort of laughed and smiled. And then Disney opened it up to the world. Yeah, do you go, oh, God, here it is. Yeah, well... I, I think less now than I used, used to because I don't I don't come in contact with it every day anymore and I don't watch it and I don't you, you know so it used to be like when I was living in New York and we were doing it and it was playing on everyone's stereo right. and 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 that was that was actually the hardest time. But when you said it was weird being here, you weren't referring to the pandemic. You were talking about how it still feels like a quick journey from where you were pre Hamilton to now. Yeah, I don't know why y'all want to talk to me, but I'm happy you do. <laughs> like you know. Um, yeah, it's... Have you looked at your resume, yeah. sir? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. don't. Naveed, you're the first yeah. guest that my 10-year-old stepson has actually been impressed. To talk to, so I'll take it. Take, take that for what no, it is. No, no, no. I'm doing big things with the 10-year-old set. I know. We're really targeting that demographic. Hey, with all. With all, actually. <laughs> do but, you... but do you marvel, though, that you've gone from where you've come from to doing what you're doing? Do you? Uh, you work to get here. The, the miraculous part to me is that... F in large part, I mostly work with my friends who I've been working with forever still. And that, have a that's really special for me. Um, we're, we're also starting production on season two of Blind Spotting, right? Which is like a, a TV show that me and Rafael Casal yeah. made Wrote up together. in our heads yes. a decade ago. So, we're, you know, and Jasmine Sevis Jones from Hamilton is the star of it. And, you know, our, our friend Helen Hunt is it. Like, it's all, it's like there's family everywhere. You have family in so many of your projects. Real quickly, it's almost like family. Can I, you can give a shout out to your 49ers. For Yo, congrats yesterday. to Bang Bang Niner Gang, man. Congra <laughs> congratulations. I, yeah. you know. You're a sport, you're, you do sports as well, so you're interested in sports. I want to ask about the cookies. There's a video of you giving a tour of your house, and your oh. wife is ragging on you for eating cookies in the bedroom. What a great I, I, house, too. Yeah. What a great house. Yeah. You're not allowed to eat them Go in the bed, so you, you eat them house. on the floor. I move on to the floor. What are these I cookies the that you the cannot bed. I'm a guy. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I don't discriminate when it comes to a cookie. I eat all, every, every and all cookies. <laughs> Debbie, thank you so much for being with us. Really, a Thanks. pleasure for more than just the 10-year-old set. I promise you, for all of us. Exactly. And the new season of Snowpiercer premieres next Monday. That's on TNT.